Hey everyone, this is Derek, and you are on part two of the synthetic benchmark comparison between the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and the original Samsung Galaxy Note. These are both AT&T branded devices. I just picked up the Note 2 because it was just released, and we are going to do two more synthetic benchmarks. We already did Antutu and uh, Quadrant Standard, so if you didn't see that, I will put a link to part one somewhere up here. So we are going to, without further ado, go into uh, Velamo, which is a fairly popular benchmark on the, uh, the Play Store. Actually, wait, wait, before we do that, I'm just going to jump to full brightness on this, uh, because it looks like this one's a lot dimmer. And uh, we'll do the same thing here, just so you can see the screen better. Alright, so we'll launch them at the same time. Alright, we still have to accept something. Great. And this is 2.0 version. Okay, swipe to continue. I guess we're just going to... Alright, cool. HTML5. Menu, tap to swing, chapter. Oh, okay. Okay, so we'll run all chapters, we'll start them at the same time, and they are off. Uh, maybe not. Since this is your first time, would you like a tutorial? I uh, probably need one, but no. We'll, we'll just figure this out. Alright, so it's... I believe it's running. Yes, it is running. It's counting down. Okay, cool. So you can follow the, uh, you can track the progress on the little bar that's blue on the Note 2 and green on the Note. And... We are going to wait. Loading. Oh, well, that makes sense. Okay. We're going to wait until something happens. <laughs> because, as I said, I've never done this benchmark before. But uh, it appears that we are making progress. So, so far we have a, uh, a 3D butterfly of variable, of variable colors uh, flying around. We have, uh, okay, so some fill rates there. Canvas crossfader. And as I said before, the GPUs are fairly similar, honestly, in performance. The uh, the Note 2 appears to be better at uh, 2D fill versus the, the original Note. It's about twice as fast. But 3D results so far have been fairly consistent between the devices. So, again, you have the uh, the Andrino 225 in the original Note and the, uh, the Mali uh, 400 on the Note 2. So, we are going to find out how they fare. That's pretty choppy on the original Note, there. Uh, I don't remember the Note 2 being that choppy in rendering that. So, as, uh, as, this, as this runs, this is probably a good time to plug my channel <laughs> again. Um, and say if you like synthetic benchmark comparisons, if you like real world comparisons, if you want to know my thoughts on the uh, the Note 2 as well as other Android phones, this is a good time to subscribe to my channel because that's exactly what we're going to be doing in the coming days and coming weeks. And uh, if you have a request, if you have a synthetic benchmark that is amazing and you just want somebody to run it and I, I'm not covering it because I'm only covering four of the most popular ones in the Play Store right now because I honestly don't really uh, have any experience with any benchmarks outside of them. If, so if you, have, if you have something that blows away the competition and you want me to run it, just let me know in a comment uh, or a video response or whatnot and just ask me because I'd be more than willing to install anything on these, uh, these phones. They're both my personal devices and uh, as I said, I'm... I'm running uh, stock Android, Android 4.1 on the uh, the Note 2. I'm running uh, yeah 4.1 Jelly Bean uh, and then Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich on the original Galaxy Note. So it appears that the the Note 2 is about halfway done. The uh, the Note's about a about a third of the way there. And uh, this is interesting because 
these HTML5 tests are very relevant in the way, as you can see uh, right now, they're doing zoom in, zoom out, uh, seeing how long it takes to redraw or, or uh, render a web page. And that's very relevant. Now we're going to, I don't totally trust these synthetic benchmarks as a, uh, as a measure of real world performance. So to that end, we're going to be doing uh, a number of real world uh, comparisons using different web browsers as well, loading, you know, complicated pages. Um, so don't put too much faith in what they show. However, I, I do think this is a pretty good benchmark as far as synthetic ones go. There's a bunch of jellyfish being rendered and uh, the uh, note 2 slung to a crawl. So uh, perhaps we need to get the Optimus G in here with the Andrino 320 and see how that, uh, how that handles it. That's probably what we'll do next. It looks like we have some embedded video playing as well as some text rendering. Um, network simulation over 3G, 4G, and Wi Fi. Cool. So, again, we are currently watching the, uh, the Note and the Note 2 go head to head in this synthetic benchmark. Who knows what's going to happen? I'm willing to bet that the Note 2 is faster, though. <laughs> I feel like that's a pretty safe assumption. So I'm just going to let the benchmark run. And I'm probably going to annotate a link to the end of this benchmark because it seems at least that we could have another... It's a good thing I broke this into two parts because we are at another almost seven minutes and it seems like it's going to take another seven or eight minutes for the, uh, the original note to run. So. I am going to shut up and let these benchmarks run. I feel like we need some non-copyrighted music playing in the background. Um, eh, I probably do like music swap to something and annoy annoy my subscribers by uh, playing. Uh, I don't even know what the heck the name is. Oh, the, uh, what was it, 009 or something sound systems, I forget, that the song that gets audio swapped into every other video. But I don't think we're going to have time because the Note 2 is almost done. Okay, cool. We sent to the server. Do you want to compare it with other devices? Well, we are going to be comparing it to the Galaxy Note, the original Galaxy Note first, so I'm going to leave those scores on screen. So as you can see, the HTML5 test resulted in a score of 1825. Uh, yet to be seen how that stacks up to other devices. However, I think it's quite good. And uh, 617 for the metal test. So the original Galaxy Note is almost done, and as soon as it is, we'll compare scores, submit those benchmark results, and see how the uh, devices stack up to other Android uh, units on the, uh, on the marketplace. This is quite a comprehensive benchmark suite. This is a good nine minute benchmark, I believe. All right, cool. There it is. It's done. Yay. 1167 to 1825 and 367 to 617. So what are we going to do now? Compare to other devices, I guess. Yes, yes. Oh, it's not the same time. Oh, that's close enough. Do you want to...
find out what's happening. Okay, so we have big bubbles and small bubbles. And, uh, the HTML5 test, I think you can read this, actually. I, was, I wasn't sure on part one, but the, uh, the 1080 that the uh, Sony RX100 puts out is pretty good. And, uh, you probably should be able to read those scores if you're viewing this in HD. So, you can see here that the, uh, the Note 2 is the biggest bubble, so to speak. It's also probably the biggest phone um, of all these. I believe it is, unless there's a tablet hiding in there. So that's that's great. And uh, here we got a you know a mid-range score. It's above the S2, obviously, and it's above where evidently the Note's supposed to be on 4.0.4. .4. The Galaxy Note's down here, and we scored a little above that. Um, maybe that's because we did a in part one we just uh, did a cold like a uh, a startup. Um, so these phones aren't running any background processes other than system ones. So, and then here obviously it handily beat out the One X, which was in second place. And I believe if we go here to Metal, the uh, the same thing holds true. The HTC One X is tops here. It's the second one behind the Note 2 over here. And uh, yeah, oh yeah, here here actually the Galaxy Note the the reference scored a little better than this one. Well. I guess you win a little, lose a little. All right, so that is it for uh, Velamo, Velam, Velamo. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but we'll go back to the home screen and we'll run one more SQL benchmark, and we'll see how this guy does. So hopefully this one doesn't take 10 minutes to run because YouTube's gonna get angry at my giant upload, and it appears as though this one is not going to take. Well, that's going to run. As you can see, I started on about the same time, and the Note 2 is presumably almost finished already. Yes, and the Note is not. Oh. Luckily, this is not an eight-minute ben eight benchmark. And we are done. Great. So, I don't know how scientific this is, but the, the Note 2 scored 16.35 seconds to the Note's 37. So, once again, uh, more than twice as fast. So yeah, that concludes our uh, synthetic benchmark segment of the Galaxy Note to Note 2 comparison. And if you have any other, as I mentioned earlier, if you have any other synthetic benchmarks that you'd like me to run on these devices, just let me know, and we can add them and run them, see how they uh, see how they compare. So I hope that you join me in some of my other videos as we uh, delve into the Note 2 further and uh, find out, you know, is this, is this the best phone that's out there right now or not? I'll see you then.